Hey guys, my name is Yisser. In this video, we're gonna import the Data World Importers Data Warehouse ETL project into Microsoft Visual Studio, and we're gonna run the ETL workflow to transfer data from our database to Data Warehouse. First, here is the documentation for the Wide World Importers Data Warehouse ETL. It has the workflow and and some explanation. We're gonna download it from the SQL Server samples. The SQL Server Integration Services Daily ETL IS Pack Integration Services Pack. So we're gonna download this file to our computer. Here it is, the Daily ETL Integration Services, and we're gonna load it using Microsoft Visual Studio. So we're going to create a new project and then we're going to search for the integration services import project wizard. We can give our project a name. Wide World Importers Integration Services Create Next In the select source we're gonna browse for our project file The daily ETL and we're gonna import it we see the project is imported in our solution so we're gonna make some changes to make it work first we will open the dtsx file which is have the workflow so here is our workflow we're gonna zoom out Before we run our workflow, we're gonna check our connection managers to our source database and our data warehouse destination. So, double click on the source database manager. Here, you're gonna put your server name. Here is my SQL server and we're gonna select our database which is our source database is the wide world importers. We're gonna test the connection. Test connection succeeded. Okay. Okay. We're gonna change the connection for our data warehouse destination also. And we're gonna choose our database, our data warehouse. Test connection, connection succeeded. After we make sure that the connection is connected to our SQL server, we're gonna run our ETL workflow.
we might need to rebuild the solution before run it again. So after we run the ATL will work and we're gonna see that green markers it means that each process is completed in the workflow. The package is executed successfully, so we're gonna stop the debugging. And here is our ETL project. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment. And thank you for watching.